Welcome back to the Mayor's Corner. Uh, we have with us our Chief Eden Garcia. Welcome. Thank you for and having me. Yes, thank, thank you. you. Um, the reason we decided to to come on and speak a little bit, there's a new law that was implemented in January... January, January the 18th. The 18th. Yes, ma'am. So, so you're here to kind of enlighten and let us know a little bit about that. So. Yeah, so in 2020... 2022, the laws have changed for in a lot of for you know several factors, right? But one of them that we're going to talk about today are for our pets, mm -hmm. and one and this is going to focus on on dogs, right? So uh, on and you're right, the new law came in on January the 18th, 2022, mm -hmm. and here it says the new law forbids dog owners from leaving their pets chained outside their homes. So it says what type of restraints can and can't be used under the new law. So it says, if a dog is left alone outside, the dog cannot be restrained with a chain or with any restraint that has weights attached. Mm -hmm. So you can no longer go and find a dog and use a chain to, to tie your dog and keep him there. Mm -hmm. That's illegal. The restraint must be at least five times the length of the dog, from the tip of the dog's nose to the base of the dog's tail, or ten feet long, whichever is greater. Uh, the dog's collar or harness must be properly fitted, meaning that it is appropriately sized for the dog, does not choke the dog or impede the dog's normal breathing or swallowing, and does not cause pain or injury to the dog. So these are the new laws that are coming into effect, right? Mm -hmm. So, and a lot of it is people, and it's it happens sometimes where they'll chain the dog and they just leave him out there. Yeah. Sometimes without food, sometimes without water. So uh, we want to make these laws are out there to really strengthen and, and give the dog, you know, a voice. Yeah. And, and even though they don't have one, but let us be the voice of people that see, please report it. If you have a neighbor, if you see someone that has a dog that's chained up, and I'm, I'm advising that it is illegal. The law now states that it is illegal to have a dog chained. Report it to the police department. And what number or where would they is it a, the non-emergency? Yes, ma'am. They can call us at 361-664-0186. Okay. And uh, they could talk to uh, uh, Anita Martinez. They could talk to dispatch. Let them know where they have the dog or where they've seen the dog. And we'll be more than glad to send our animal control okay. uh, officers out there. It, it says chain. So is it a specific or is it? So you can. So there's certain criteria on how you can, what you can utilize, but you can't use a chain. It could be a small chain. You can't use small chain or the big chains. Mm -hmm. You just can't. Like with the big chain links, right? Mm -hmm. So and then it says here what type of shelter must be provided for the dog. So according to the law, a dog left uh, tethered alone outside must be provided with a sturdy structure that provides the dog protection from uh, inclement weather, including rain, hail, sleet, snow, high winds, extreme low temperatures, or extreme high temperatures, mm -hmm. uh, is large enough to allow the dog to stand up, sit, turn around, and lie down in a normal position while inside. The dog must also have access to an area that it allows it to avoid standing water and exposure to excessive animal waste. The dog should also have access to shade from direct sunlight. And the dog must be provided with uh, drinking water. So these are some of the new things that are coming up. Now, what has changed was the law before, as police officers, we had to wait 24 hours before we could go. Now it doesn't. We can take immediate action right then and there. Yeah. So if you're thinking, well, we have 24 hours, no, that, that has gone. That has That's, changed. Yes, it's changed. Okay. So it gives us a little bit more to, to grab onto and uh, to take that action that is necessary immediately. Now, the first time it's a Class C misdemeanor. But if you are convicted, and the second time, and you have a, pri a, pri uh, a prior conviction, it jumps up to a Class B. So that will go to our county attorney's office. But for the most part, it stays municipal court. Okay. And, uh, you know, it's unfortunate we do come across situations mm -hmm. like this in our community. Uh, but we really encourage our people in our community to make that call, especially, you know, if, if a dog doesn't have a shelter and they're out mm -hmm. in the open. And that's what they're trying to say. You, don't, you know, we forbid that. Right? We don't want you to have your dog in the backyard tied up and just without shelter, just in the middle of the, you know, out yes. in the middle of the sun. Out no, in the elements. The law now says it's got to have some type of shelter. Okay. So we really encourage that. Now, uh, if you're driving along with your dog and he's in the back of your truck, I mean, that's... 
there are some things that the law says you, that's okay. You know, it's mm -hmm. it's it. Uh, uh, they're exempt, but uh, it's it talks about homes. At homes. Yes, ma'am. Now, where can um, someone, if they wanted to read this, um, mm -hmm. access the uh, new law that came into place? Is there something that we have? So on? there is. Uh, you can call the police department. We can get some information. We also have it on our website. Okay. Uh, we did have it on Facebook. We did put it on okay. on the on our Facebook, both on the Alice Police Department Facebook and the Animal Control uh, Facebook. Okay. But if anybody follows the Alice Police Department, mm -hmm. you'll be you'll find it, and it and it's short and sweet. And it gives you everything that gives we've just talked about. Yes, ma'am. Okay. In about five sentences. So it's the Alice Police Department Facebook page. That is correct. Or the Animal, um, what was it, Animal Control Facebook page that also that you do have. So if you want to read up a little bit more in reference to this new law that did come into play, go out and look, and, um, look at these um, sites. And then, or you said we could also, we have access to, a, or are able to give access to to our, our public. Yes, ma'am. So, no, no, not I'm at all. So, <laughs> no, <laughs> it happens sometimes. But uh, the Alice Echo also did a little segment on, on the new laws, and okay. I know they contacted our, our humane department, okay. uh, and they're, they've worked really well with us in the past, and they always continue to work with us. So, very uh, kudos and, and, and shout out goes out to the Alice Echo <laughs> for, for always helping us. But they did do a segment. And uh, so, you know, if people get the newspaper, you can, you know, read it from there and on um, the new laws. But if you always feel that you want to continue to follow us uh, and, and always up with the new laws, mm -hmm. follow us on our Facebook page. We're there and we're there to help you and we're there to give you as much information as we can, uh, to, especially for our community. Well, I appreciate it. And thank you so much for coming to inform our public, our citizens in reference to this new law. And thank you for everything y'all do. We appreciate our police department. And I know it's tough out there. And, and y'all do a lot for our community. Thank you so much. No, thank you, Mayor. Thank you for having me. You're welcome. Thank you, everyone. And see you next time on the Mayor's Corner. We're um, every month at the end of the month. So bye. Thank y'all.